Hey ladies, just wanted to check in and tell you guys what I'm doing today. Um, I'm at a retreat. It's an all woman's retreat in Pennsylvania. It's for emotional healing. It's like um, we release trapped emotions. So I'm out here basically in the woods. Um, this building we're staying in, it kind of looks like an old like a hospital almost. Um, it's really pretty out here. It's just all country and nature and everybody has their own room and their own bathroom and we meet upstairs for meetings pretty much all day long. And we do a bunch of different workshops and things like that. Let me show you my food situation. So they have food here but I don't want to eat what they're eating because you guys know I eat in a very special way. I don't eat sugar. I don't eat flour. Um, I eat pretty much all plant-based. I do still eat yogurt. And um, I like to just weigh and measure all my food. And I like to eat a lot of organic foods. So I told them, I'll just bring all my own food. So in this type of situation um, where I'm going to be somewhere and I bring all my own food... This is how I do it to make sure I can stay on my diet plan. So this is what I brought with me. I brought things, okay, my fruit. I made sure to get fruit that did not need to go in a refrigerator because I didn't know if there would be a fridge here for me to use. There's my oatmeal. This is rice. There is a microwave. Um, worst case, you actually do not need to put this rice in the microwave. I mean, you can just open it up and eat at room temperature if you're really in a jam, okay? This is a good thing, you know, like for vegans and other people who are on special types of diets. That's important for you to know. I bought some sweet potatoes. I've already eaten the other ones. So um, there is a microwave, so I just put those in the microwave. Here are my Brazil nuts for selenium. These are my seeds. I've already eaten a lot of my beans. I've I've already been here for a few days, so, you know, the food is just about to run out. I'm leaving today. My beans. Oh, here's our, um, here's our schedule. This is the different stuff we do in the retreat. There's my food scale. I brought that. I brought my own cutting board. My peanut butter, of course. You guys know how I am. And look at this cool thing. I got this from Amazon. This is a mini refrigerator, you guys. And it plugs into the car, too. And it has this little handle. So um, I could do a trip without a fridge and just, you know, be really careful with the vegetables I bring. I would just bring vegetables that did not need refrigeration. Um, but I wanted to have more food choices this time. So I brought the mini fridge and because of that, I'm able, I was able to bring my yogurt. I brought some butter for my spaghetti squash. I made the spaghetti squash before I came and put it in this bag. And my hummus. Here's some more beans and there's, um, there's the spaghetti sauce. So it's tiny, but you know what? It really helps out because wherever I go, I mean, I wouldn't bring this on an airplane, but for any of the traveling I do where I'm just driving there, which there are a lot of retreats that I can drive to, this is going to be great. This has really um, changed my travel experience. And I have been able to stay on my food plan the entire trip with no problems at all, which is awesome. So if you guys are vegans or vegetarians or you're on a diet or you're a bodybuilder, you know, and you have very uh, specific ways you like to eat, then this is a good video for you. And it's just, it makes it so much easier, okay? When you just have the stuff you need like this, your cutting board, your food scale. Um, it's just so much easier to just stay on track and 
and do what you promised yourself you were going to do. And it's really not that hard, you guys. It's really not that hard once you have the proper tools and you get a hang of it. You can stick to your food plan. You totally can. And you can transform your health. You can transform your body. There's so many things. And mostly you're going to transform your mind because sticking to a food plan is not just about changing your physical appearance. It's about changing your brain, okay? Showing up for yourself. When you promise yourself you are going to eat a certain way and you actually do it, you're really, you're, you're changing your brain. You're showing yourself that you really love you. And when you want something for yourself, you go out and you get it for yourself. You're showing yourself that you don't break promises to yourself. And what does that mean to your brain, to your subconscious mind? It shows your subconscious mind that you actually are the most important person in your life. Because I know many times, right, we'll show up for everybody else. We'll show up for everybody else and we will promise them things and we will stick to it. We will bend over backwards for other people, you know, for our kids, for our family members, for our spouses, for our friends. We do it for so many people. We just show up for them. But then there's this one person in our lives that we constantly just like put on the back burner and we promise them things and then we never get around to doing it or we don't complete what we said we were going to do. And that person is usually ourselves. So in one way, we're extremely reliable to everybody else around us, but for ourselves, we can't seem to do it. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but it actually makes a lot of sense because I've done that to myself for so many years. So part of the reason why sticking to a food plan for me is so valuable is because of what it tells me about me. It says to me, I love you. I'm taking care of you. And yeah, I'm going to jump through hoops. I'm going to do crazy things like have a refrigerator in my car. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to show up to a retreat where everybody else is eating what's on the menu. And no, I'm going to be the weird one that brings all my food and puts it in drawers. Why? Because I'm showing up for myself. And guess what? I am the healthiest person here. You know, everybody here, they're very nice people and they're doing recovery work and I'm so proud of them and they are amazing. We've spent an amazing few days together working on ourselves and supporting each other, but I know I am I'm the healthiest person here as far as my physical body is concerned. Why? Because I do crazy things like this. Crazy weird people stuff. Okay? I bring a cutting board and a food scale. And a bunch of food and a fridge full of spaghetti squash wherever I go. <laughs> this is not normal behavior. I know it's not. This is not normal. And you know what? That's why my body is not normal. I don't have the body that other people have. I have a body that is really, really, really nice. It's nice to look at. It doesn't get bloated. This body is not sick. It's just fit. It is healthy. It has amazing blood work and test results. My body is awesome because I don't live a normal life. I don't do what, what, nor, what normal people do. Normal people just eat what's on the menu. And that's fine for them because maybe their highest values are in something else. I know what mine are. And one of them is to have a really healthy body that functions amazingly well and looks the way I want it to look. So, you know who says this? Dave Ramsey says this. He says, live like no one else so you can live like no one else. 
when he says it, he's talking about money and I completely agree with him. But you can apply that to anything else in your life. Go out there, be the weird one, be the strange one, be the one that everybody is looking at like, wow, she's kind of weird. Why does she live like that? Because you know why? The results show for themselves. And um, I am living proof of that. And I'm going to continue on this journey. And, you know, the more I do weird things like this, like walk around with a fridge, like a lunchbox. <laughs> like the more I do weird things with my food, with my money, even the weird things I do with my relationships, okay? It's not what we'd call normal for a woman to have the dating standards that I have, okay? One of my dating rules is that you need to start financially supporting me on the first date. That's one of my personal standards for my life. And most people think that is ridiculous and they have horrible things to say about it and they're very judgmental about it. And that is fine. That is my standard for my life. That's how I want to live. And it totally works for me. And most men do not want to sign up for that. But the ones who do, they do. And those are the only men I need. They're very happy about it and I'm happy about it. And... I get to have the type of men in my life that benefit me and make me happy and I get to be weird with my food and I get to be weird with my money and all of my envelopes and my 20 bank accounts with everything separated and divided so I understand it perfectly and all the other little weird things that I do in my life. I have the kind of life that I have because I do weird stuff. And I am, I am, I am okay with that. I like myself, you guys. <laughs> I like my weird, crazy self. Because like everything I do, it seems so weird and crazy, but... All of my results are exactly what I want them to be. So, yeah. Well, I didn't think this video would turn into this, but I like it. Okay. Um, I have to go to my retreat. It's breakfast time for the rest of the people, so that's why I came to my room. Because I don't eat breakfast at this time. I eat breakfast at about 4 p.m., that's when I have my first meal. So I like to fast all day. I just uh, drink water all day long until right around four o'clock, sometimes three. Um, I like to get a nice intermittent fast of about 16 hours. Sometimes it goes even longer uh, depending on what I'm doing. But normally the average time I start eating is at four o'clock and that really gives my body the chance to start burning fat for fuel and just, um, you know, when your body is in a fasted period for a long time, um, your body is going to start searching for fuels to burn. So um, the first thing it's going to burn is obviously sugar, but I don't have any sugar in my body. Um, you know, it will go after the food that is in your stomach for fuel. If there's no food in there, it will go looking for other things. And one of the things your body will start looking for is extra body fat. I don't really have a whole lot of that anymore because of the way I've been living for a long time, but it will go after that. And the other thing it goes after are faulty cells or little tiny tumors of cancer you may be growing inside of your body, okay? If you're growing something that is not healthy inside of your body, you know, something that has never been found by a doctor, you know, let's say you have a little tumor growing on your 
ovary or something like that. And, you know, nobody knows about it, but you're the type of person you start to fast, okay? While you're fasting, your body is looking for something to burn. If it finds no food, it finds no sugar, there's no food in your stomach, you know, it goes through the whole process, it will start finding those little kind of things in your body and it'll burn that stuff up. Okay, it'll get rid of all of that bad stuff that is growing. And what is great about that is it means now you don't have a tumor that's going to grow big and turn into something that could threaten your life. So uh, there are many benefits to fasting. Yes, weight loss is one of them, but just overall health. Um, it is a wonderful way to clean your body out. And you don't need to fast for a whole month. I mean, some people choose to do things like that. Um, I've never gone a whole month. I've gone like seven days with no food before. Um, but yeah, that was like a very rare case. But, um, and you know, there are medical treatment centers that actually help people that have very bad diseases and things like that. And um, they just have the people go in and they don't give them medication or anything like that. They just give them a supervised fast. And while their body is in the fasting state for many days, the body will begin to cure the sicknesses. So um, that's another reason why I intermittent fast is to help clear anything in my body that may be growing that I do not know about and it will kill it while it's in the very, very beginning stages. So, um, yeah, this video is turning into another video. So I'm just going to stop here and um, I'm going to go meet my group. Um, yeah, I figured I would just come down here. I don't like to sit around a table when other people are eating things like, you know, pancakes and muffins and putting sugar in their coffee and things like that. Not that it bothers me very much anymore because it's been a long time since I've had anything like that. And the desire for it has definitely decreased by about 90%. But, um, you know, I don't think it's necessary to um, sit around and look at those kind of things if I don't have to. Um, so I came down here just, you know, to get a few things done, but they're going to be finishing up their breakfast soon. So I'm going to go up to the meeting room with my gallon of water and I'm going to drink that while we do some healing work. We're doing some pretty cool stuff or like we have this chair with um, a pillow tape to it and we have some baseball bats and we're like beating the crap out of the pillow with the baseball bat, you know, pretending it's like our parents and all this other kind of fun stuff. So we're getting a lot of um, trapped emotions out of our bodies. We're doing different exercises like that. So it's really fun. I wish I could take the camera in there, but clearly that is just not something people want to be filmed so I just have to tell you about it verbally but it's really fun um, I encourage you all to look for different programs you can take to help yourself with anything you're going through that is the beauty of being alive in 2023 any problem you have there is help for and there's help from so many different people with so many different perspectives so you're not alone, you have the internet. And a lot of the programs are free or don't cost a lot of money. I mean, there is enough free content and programs out there that you could fill up your whole entire life without ever spending any money. I mean, once you get some money or you decide to spend some money, you can move on to even more programs. But uh, there's no reason why you can't start now. There's a lot of free content out there and a lot of free help. That, um, you know, there's no reason not to start today working on your mental health, your spiritual health, your physical health, your fitness, your food. There's so many things you can do to better yourself right now today, ladies. So, yeah, I just want you all to live your sweetest life possible. And it's up to you to make that happen. Nobody else in this world can give you a sweet life. Just you. You're the only one. So show up for yourself and start working on you. All right, talk to you later. Bye for now.